Welcome everyone. In this video we're going to have a look at a product made by Renogy Solar and this is a 10 watt solar battery trickle charger slash maintainer. And they make four different versions of this. Two are 10 watt and two are 5 watt. This one is a trickle charger and then they also have one that is a charger which comes with a MPPT charge controller will actually charge your battery. This one is designed to trickle charge or just maintain your battery. I'll leave some affiliate links for this product as well as the Renogy website if you want to go have a look and see what they've got to offer. I'll also leave you a coupon code that will give you 8% off DIY HOME all capital letters. And these products are excellent for winter time and that type of situation where you've got a vehicle maybe or a boat, RV, camper, trailer with a battery on it that you don't use very often, but you want to maintain the battery so that it's ready to work when you need it. And I'll be using this on my pickup truck that I leave outside in the winter time when it gets cold. The battery will go flat if you don't charge it occasionally. And this is going to prevent me from having to worry about that. So let's have a look and see what's included in this package. Of course, you've got some instructions. This is a real simple item to install and use. You've got uh, the solar panel itself, and it has some suction cups on each corner for mounting to your windshield or a flat, smooth surface. A cord that's connected to it with this plug. You could plug in several different connectors. And then this is the 10 watt solar panel. Inside this accessory box are the different attachments that come with the charger. You've got some additional suction cups or replacement suction cups. This is a cigarette lighter adapter style plug. And these all have the other end that you plug right into the cable off the solar panel. You've got a set of alligator clips and then an extension or an accessory with just the uh, ring terminals for your battery leads if you want to connect it directly to the battery. I'm going to be using the cigarette lighter adapter in my particular setup and uh, I'll, we'll do a test here in just a minute inside the truck that I'll be using this with to make sure that this adapter is going to work. Now some of the cigarette lighter plug-ins or 12 volt accessory plugs that you have in modern vehicles may or may not be connected to your ignition. You need one that's powered constantly in order for this adapter to work properly with this solar panel. I've got a couple of outlets in my vehicle and uh, we'll test them. Uh, if you only have one that's connected to your ignition, it, meaning you have to turn the ignition on in order for it to power the, uh, the plug-in, then that's not going to work for you. You need constant power in order for this to be able to send power back through that plug to your battery. If you have a lead acid battery in a vehicle and it goes below 12.2 volts, then the battery will start to sulfate and that's where you end up with a battery that won't take a charge and needs to be replaced. So let's go out to the truck and I'll show you how I'm going to set it up. Now here we are inside my Nissan Titan pickup and these are my two outlets, one on each side of the lower part of the dash here by the shifter knob and you can see I don't have the key in so the ignition is off. There's a couple ways to test this. First I'm just going to use this little USB adapter and this has a little tiny blue LED light on it if there's power to the outlet. We'll see if that'll show up on the video here. Okay and that one is not lighting up. Let's try this side. And I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably can't, but the blue light did come on. So I know that that one has full-time power, the one near the driver's seat. So that's one way to test the outlets. And the second is just take your plug that comes with the Renogy trickle charger slash maintainer. Looking to see if there's a light on there. There is not. But we'll plug it into the outlet, and then I'll take my battery tester or voltage meter and we'll check the voltage just to see if that outlet is powered full time, which we already know that it is. Okay, we've got 1158. I had to remove this red cap. It wouldn't allow the uh, charger plug to fit in there all the way on my particular setup. So we're showing 11.58. So you can see why I need this battery trickle charger 
or maintainer for this truck. It got down to about 20 degrees last night and it's pretty darn cold. Plus this truck hasn't been started for several days. Solar panel and we will place this in the window and stick it to the bottom of the windscreen here. This has about, it looks to be about a three foot cord maybe. And that's not gonna work. We need to have the suction cups out. So I guess that you have to undo these flaps. If you're gonna do it this way. One thing they mentioned in the instructions, if you're using one of these, when you start the vehicle, it needs to be unplugged because it could damage the uh, trickle charger or the solar panel. So make sure that you unplug the plug-in when you're gonna start the vehicle and drive. And of course, you probably want to take that out of the window too. So now that we have the solar panel installed in the sun, let's take the end of the uh, solar panel and we'll test it for voltage before we plug it in just to see what the solar panel is giving us for power. So that's 21.9 volts coming off that panel right now, that 10 watt panel. That is going to do it. Now this is the next day. We had another 27 degree night last night. That's Fahrenheit. But I got up this morning and checked it and the uh, battery was at 12 volts. So it has put some energy back into the battery. And the battery that's in this truck is about two years old and it is already sulfated. What I really like about these solar battery chargers or trickle chargers maintainers is the price of the maintainer is a whole lot cheaper than a new battery. So if you save one battery over one season, one winter season or, or whatever time of year it is, it's more than paid for itself. I could buy four or five of these for the price of one battery for this truck. So that's definitely something to consider when you're looking at a product like this. Maybe at some point in the future or end of the winter or something, I'll do a an update on this charger maintainer and let you guys know how it did over the winter. Let's go inside and we'll uh, have a quick look and see where the battery is sitting at the moment. Sun's been up for about four hours so far today. So here's what I've got set up. I just have the leads to my meter plugged into this adapter and I'm going to unplug the solar panel and plug this in and we'll just check and see where the battery is. 12.05. Like I said, this battery is pretty well sulfated. But anyway, there you go, folks. The Renogy Battery Maintainer Trickle Charger 10 watt version. If you enjoy these solar videos, click the video on the screen now for another solar video where I made a solar powered off grid workshop. And we'll see you over there.